আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমার প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থীবৃন্দু প্রথমেই সবাইকে মহান স্বাধীনতা দিবসের শুভেচ্ছা আমরা গত ক্লাসে বাফার সলিউশন এর মেকানিজম এবং বাফার সলিউশনের কিছু ম্যাথমেটিক্যাল প্রবলেম নিয়ে আলোচনা করেছিলাম এবং বলেছিলাম আমরা পরবর্তী যেদিনই হাজির হব আমরা ইনঅর্গানিক অ্যাসিডের রিলেটিভ স্ট্রেংথ অর্থাৎ সক্রিয়তা নিয়ে আলোচনা করব প্রথমেই আমরা এদের সক্রিয়তা দ্যাট ইজ রিলেটিভ স্ট্রেংথ কি কি নিয়ামক অর্থাৎ ফ্যাক্টরির উপর নির্ভর করে তা আলোচনা করে নেই ইনঅর্গানিক অ্যাসিড এর সক্রিয়তা কতগুলো নির্দিষ্ট নিয়ামকের উপর নির্ভরশীল যাদের কারণে এদের সক্রিয়তা অর্থাৎ তীব্রতা দ্যাট ইজ স্ট্রেংথ বৃদ্ধি বা হ্রাস পায় তাহলে আসো আমরা প্রথমেই এক এক করে এই সবগুলো ফ্যাক্টর সম্পর্কে জেনে নেই খেয়াল করো রিলেটিভ স্ট্রেংথ অফ ইনঅর্গ্যানিক অ্যাসিড তাহলে দ্য রিলেটিভ স্ট্রেংথ অফ ইনঅর্গ্যানিক অ্যাসিড ডিপেন্ডস অন সাম ফ্যাক্টর দিজ আর দ্য ডিসোসিয়েশন কনস্ট্যান্ট অফ অ্যাসিড দ্যাট ইস ম্যাগনিটিউড অফ কে এ নাম্বার টু দ্য সাইজ অফ নেগেটিভ আয়ন অফ হাইড্রোসিডস নাম্বার থ্রি অক্সিডেশন নাম্বার অফ সেন্ট্রাল অ্যাটম অফ অক্সাসিডস অর অক্সি অ্যাসিড উই ক্যান সে বোথ অক্স অক্সিড or of oxy acid number 4 the size of central atom of oxy acid and 5 the nature of the solvent now one by one we will discuss all the factors first of all the dissociation constant of acid that is ka we need to know what is actually ka if we follow the definition that the mole fraction of and acid dissociates in aqueous solution out of the total mole of acid in its aqueous solution arthat kono ekti acid er joto mole er aqueous drobone drobibhuto thake take er dissociation constant ba ke e bola hoy ekhon let us follow this reaction that is ha a symbolic acid which dissociate to produce h plus ion and a symbolic a minus ion if we apply mass action law then equilibrium constant ka which is dissociation constant of acid that is concentration of product divided by concentration of reactant here ka is known as dissociation constant of acid what we have discussed earlier now if we make h plus subject then ka into concentration of ha divided by a minus if we consider this term as constant and if we replace that by a proportion sign then concentration of h plus is directly proportional to magnitude of ka that is as we know a strength of acid depends on the number of h plus ion produces what we know about a strong acid that is strong acid produces maximum number of h plus ions so we can conclude that the strength of acid is directly proportional to ka so if we know the magnitude of ka of any acid then we can say that that one is a stronger acid now let us discuss about the second term the size of negative ion often hydrosides first of all we need to know what is hydrosides hydrosides is also known as halogeno acid or simply we can say acid without any oxygen so for the hydrosides the strength of acid depends on size of anion if the size of anion increases the bond gets weaker that is we know there is a covalent bond involved so if we see hf hcl hbr hi as we know if we go down in the same group the atomic size increases so if we see the atomic size increases so the overlapping gets weaker as a result the bond get weaker 
so it can easily or spontaneously produces H plus ion. Here some other evidence that the bond energy of are provided like the bond energy of hydrogen bond fluorine that is 562 kilojoule per mole the bond energy of hydrogen and chlorine is 4, uh, 431 kilojoule bond energy of hydrogen bromine 366 and bond energy of hydrogen iodide 299 respectively so from that we can see that this bond breaks very easily, easily and produces H plus ion very spontaneously. So the relative strength of hydroxide will be as follows. HI is the strongest, then HBr, then HCl and eventually HF is the weakest. Now if we move on to the third factor that is oxidation number of central atom of oxide here, the main basic point is that if the oxidation number of central atom of oxides is greater, that is higher, or increases, the OH bond dissociates very easily and it can produce H plus ion very spontaneously. As I have said previously, that is, if H plus ion produces radially, it means the strength of acid increases. So, to understand that, I have given a structure of sulfuric acid here of due to greater electronegativity oxygen atom pulls the bonded electron towards it and easily eliminate hydrogen atom as proton it means it loses proton very easily and strength of acid increases so if uh, if we consider that that is for perchloric acid the oxy uh, oxidation number of central atom that is chlorine is plus 7 then oxidation number of sulfur in H2SO4 plus 6, oxidation number of nitric acid, that is in nitrogen in nitric acid plus 5. So we can see that the oxidation number of chlorine in per chloric acid is maximum. So the order of strength of acid is followed. Here, if we want to go elaborately, then we can focus on another point that is the strength of acid also depends on the stability of the negative ion. If the negative ion is stable, it can permanently lose proton. So, we can, though I haven't mentioned in the factors, in the list of the factors, but the strength of acid can also be explained by the stability of anion. If anion undergoes with resonance, so what is actually resonance? The harmonic movement of electrons, that is these electrons move or shifts by itself. As a result, the negative charge disperses and stability increases. So ultimately, a stronger acid will have a st more stable anion. Now, let us come to the fourth point. The fourth point is that the size of central atom of oxide says when it will be applicable if two of the oxide says have same oxidation number of its central atom then this factor come to play that is here for nitric acid and for phosphoric acid the oxidation number of both central atom is same so by the previous factor, we cannot define the strength of these two acids. But here, the here according to this point, that is, if the size of central atom is smaller and electronegativity is greater, that one will be stronger. So if we consider these two acids. Nitrogen, its shell number is 2 and electronegativity 3.0 and for phosphorus, shell number 3, electronegativity 2.5. So we can say nitrogen has smaller size with greater electronegativity compared to phosphorus. So nitric acid is stronger compared to phosphoric acid. Now come to the final point that is nature of the solvent. 
for this case if the polarity of the solvent increases it has greater power to accept proton so that is it enhances the production of H plus ion as a result strength of acid increases for example if we dissolve HCl in water it dissociates into H plus that is HCl act as acid in water that is a polar solvent but if we add HCl into methyl benzene which is an inorganic sol organic solvent it means non-polar solvent so there no H plus ion produces so simply we can say in HCl HCl acts as acid in water but HCl doesn't act as acid in methyl benzene so these were the factors by that well, we can determine or explain the relative strength of acids now so by this we can answer some of the explanation based question like comprehension based question like which one is stronger compared to what now in next class we will come with some new topic and uh, finally i would like to say that is we have to do our own job and in this independent day we have to be committed to our duty and our prior duty is that to study and by the study we can we can fulfill our liabilities we can do our duties for our nation so stay at home do your own job and serve the nation stay safe thank you